years of therapy. Yeah. <laughs> Steam has never been in better shape. <laughs> so last week, you uh, obtained a copy of, of you know, whose 2005 federal tax return, mm -hmm. something many Americans have sort of been demanding, just any tax return. What was the first thing that went through your mind when you knew you were going, when you knew you had it? Use this one? Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm using this microphone. Is that right? Oh, okay. I think Rachel I travels with her own mic. I travel with my own mic. It's like Miranda Lambert. I don't, it's just to make me look important. I guess this one's not working. Oh, yeah. that's what's yeah. fine. Um, well, so the, honestly, the, the first thing I thought when we got this call, this reporter had obtained what he thought were these tax returns, my first thought was, don't get pranked. Like, mm -hmm. could this be a forgery? Mm -hmm. Could this be some sort of... You know, like, make sure this stuff is real. Because right. obviously there's such appetite to learn about his tax returns. He's the right. only president in 40 years, so we don't have exactly. his financial information. Right. And yeah. simultaneously with that, we've got this increasing knowledge about his weird Russia. overseas ties yep. in yep. terms yep. of people yep. on his campaign. So there's all this appetite for it. It's the perfect environment to prank mm -hmm. somebody. Yeah. And so I thought, let's make sure this is right. We gave a tentative yes. We will break it if we can prove that it is real. And then we spent... 36 hours trying to get the White House to verify it was real. And then they finally did, and then we went to air. Well, some speculate that Trump leaked those himself mm -hmm. to distract from other negative things, and it, was a, it wasn't that damning, the, the results. Like, so do you think that could have come from Trump? It totally could have come from Trump, which is like such a bizarre human drama at the center of this. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the only thing that matters is, is that document real? Yeah. That's right. the story. Because yeah. we, what we need to know is whether the president is conflicted, whether he's making policy decisions, whether he's making personnel decisions that aren't just for the good of the country, that might be benefiting mm -hmm. him or benefiting somebody right. he owes money to. That's yeah. why we yeah. need to see well, that we stuff. we know he gave so. them to you because otherwise there would be more pages with real information on them. <laughs> <laughs> There's only two pages. Well, what is interesting is that Donald himself tweeted that releasing the taxes was fake news, and his son Donald Jr. tweeted this, Thank you, Rachel Maddow, for proving to your Trump-hating followers how <laughs> successful at real Donald Trump is, and that he paid $40 million in taxes. Hashtag taxes. So did this actually end up making him look good and perhaps justify his supporters who call this and, you know, everything else a witch hunt? The, my, my favorite thing about those two things together is like, like, okay, it's an amazing release of his tax information that shows that he's super rich and paid a ton of money in taxes. It's yeah. real and great. Also, it's fake and it's illegal for you to publish them. Like, I'm happy to yeah. absorb either one of those punishments from the family, yeah. but both of them, it's either fake or it's real, well, and you guys have to pick one. How did he even use that to tell saying for the past, I don't know how many years, we know he's around, that he's a billionaire. That's not that's 150 million that's far. Well, that was his income that year. So but we, but yeah. also that yeah. money, uh, uh, that, that tax that he paid was because he sold that building or whatever it was to China. That's Chinese money, supposedly. Now, I, didn't, I did not do his tax return, so I do not know. <laughs> but, I mean, well, there's we, a lot we of know, crazy stuff. We know very, very little about his finances. I think mm -hmm. one of the things that seems important to me about getting that little piece of it yeah. is that a, it proves that you can release some of his tax information without it, the world ending. Mm -hmm. He's had weird excuses for not releasing his taxes. <laughs> well, he's hey, I'm audit, under right? audit. Well, every president has been under audit so what do you think since he's Nixon, and they've all released their tax returns. So what's he afraid of, Rachel? I don't know. So why doesn't he release it? Yeah. Because the explanation mm -hmm. for why he won't doesn't make sense. We've now seen with me releasing these two pages that you can release it, and it's not even necessarily bad news. Why are you so afraid? Because he didn't give you the pages that really would tell you anything, and the, the tax returns that, that you would get would indict him to, uh, with the influence in Russia. Well, That's why. We'll, I mean, we'll see. There's no other it's, reason. The, the thing is that if the White House continues to insist that there's nothing in the tax returns that's going to make him look bad at all, no, we'll and there's nothing to this Russia story, well, prove it. Show it. Rachel yeah. White yeah. doesn't do it. I want to get to the rollout a little bit yeah. because you took a lot of heat. I was watching social media and some gave you a lot of heat that you drew it out. In other words, that you initially teased the segment and then they had to wait a no, long no. time and then by the time it had hit, other news outlets were potentially on it. So what do you say to that to people who felt that the rollout didn't, didn't help your show or maybe wasn't handled correctly? Well, uh, for me, the most important thing here, as I say, was figuring out if this document was real. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of breaking the news, I felt like my responsibility was to show the information, to be transparent about where we got it from, to talk about some of these issues in terms of mm -hmm. the, the, the sourcing issues. Yeah. We honestly have no idea where it came from. It very well might have come from the president himself. Right. But the overall issue being the importance of the president 
president releasing his tax returns, why it's so unusual that he hasn't, why therefore even getting this little piece of information is a big deal. So for me, that's question. what I felt like I had to do. Yeah. yeah. And I did it. And you like me or don't, yeah. I did it right as far as I'm concerned. So. Why is this particular year important, 2005? 2005. Why, why, why would that be the one if, if, they, were, if they were to... Why if they released it yeah. themselves to make yeah. themselves mm -hmm. look good? Yeah. I mean, we don't know. We have to see the other years in order to know. Right. But there are some interesting things about 2005 that make it potentially a unique mm -hmm. year in his taxes. Number one, that was his first joint filing with Melania. They had never filed together before. Oh. Uh, she was not Maybe yet... she made all the money. <laughs> Julie's fabulous. <laughs> she, um, she was not yet a citizen at that point. She underwent her citizenship interview the following year. And one of the things what, you have... What, what, what year was that? 2006 is when she became a citizen. Oh. So 2005 is when they fired this, filed this tax return. And if you go to U.S. Customs and Immigration, they tell you when you're coming in for your citizenship interview, make sure you bring all your tax returns. So oh. it was very important to them, having just become a married couple, that those tax returns for 2005 oh. look... Right? Because yeah. she's, it's part of her citizenship <laughs> application at that point. So that's, that's one thing. There's also um, uh, some, uh, the other interesting thing going on in the president's life at that point is that somebody had published a biography that year that said he wasn't a billionaire at all. He didn't have nearly that much money. It's all a joke. Oh. And Trump was enraged by that. <laughs> yeah. He filed a $2 billion dollar lawsuit against the author of this book against him. And so he might have been feeling a little sensitive about showing that he had but a lot he, of but income. But he proved that he that wasn't year. a billionaire by showing the tax. Yeah. Well, he... Well, he, we, he made $150 million on this yeah. tax. He didn't but have it doesn't more. mean he didn't right. have more yeah. sitting in the bank. We yeah. have no idea what he's worth. Mm -hmm. 2006. 2006. Have I, I feel like I've piqued your interest. Well, you, ha you have. Yeah. Because, you know, when we were asking the questions, when, when did citizenship happen? Mm. You know, how quickly did it happen? You know, so it they... Happened it, after well, the it happened after the marriage. She was, a, I mean, she was a green card holder. She was legally allowed to work here and make income. She was paying taxes. They filed jointly. It's all... I mean, there's no reason to be... As far as I can see, we've seen no evidence of anything that looks suspicious in that regard. But if you are wondering why 2005 might be a cherry-picked right. year right. that looked particularly shiny okay. for them, <laughs> then that's, <laughs> potential, that's circumstantial evidence. I'll just we're going to go and come right back with more with Rachel Maddow. <laughs>